Okay. Today we're going to review identifying solutions to equations and inequalities. And as a um, brief reminder, finding solutions to equations and inequalities is a lot like evaluating expressions, and we've had practice with that before. So let's look at an example of evaluating an expression. So if we remember correctly, when we evaluate an expression, if we have 3x plus 4, this is an expression, okay? And if we are given some value for x, maybe x is equal to 2, then we can evaluate this expression and simplify it even further. We cannot solve it, we can just evaluate it. So if I know that x is 2, and I see that I have 3 times x, because I have a coefficient and a variable, my coefficient is multiplied by my variable, I'm going to plug 2 in for this x. So really what I have is 3 times 2 plus 4. 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 plus 4 is 10. So I've now evaluated this expression. Well, with our identifying solutions to inequalities and equations, we're going to use that same process of plugging in the value given for the variable and simplifying each expression on either the left or the right-hand side of the equation or inequality. So 3x plus 2 equals 12. We now have an equation. We know we have an equation because we have an equal sign. An equal sign means we have an equation. On the left-hand side of the equation, we have the expression 3x plus 2. On the right-hand side of the equation, we have the expression 12. Okay? So I want to see if x equals 2 a solution. Is x equal to 2 going to make this sentence true? That 3x plus 2 equals 12. So I am going to evaluate this expression by plugging in my known value for x, which is 2. So I have 3 times 2 plus 2 is equal to 12. I now simplify. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2, and 6 plus 2 is 8, equals 12. 8 is not equal to 12. So therefore, no, x equals 2 is not a solution. Okay, let's look at another example. And I encourage you to pause the video uh, so that you can um, practice this on your own. Okay. Um, and then after you've worked the problem out on your own, uh, then re resuming play. So I want to know, is x equal to 3 a solution? Okay. So we're going to want to plug in our value. Now I can go ahead and simplify this because I have two like terms. And I can simplify the right hand side of my equation first because I have two like terms. So 2x plus 4x is 6x, and 2x minus x is just x, okay? So now I'm going to plug in my value for x, 6 times 3 equals 3. Now we simplify, 6 times 3 is 18, equal 3, and no, 18 is not equal to 3, so no, x equal to 3 is not a solution. And again, right now, we're not, we're not trying to find the value for x, we're just trying to determine the solution. Is this value that's already stated a solution? Does this value make the statement true? And no, x equals 3 does not make this statement true, so therefore x equals 3 is not a solution. 
Alright, let's work with an inequality now. I'm going to use the same expressions, but I'm going to put an inequality sign in there. So 2x plus 4x greater than 2x minus x. Okay? And once again, the question is, is x equal to 3 a solution? So again, I can simplify 2x and 4x is 6x greater than 2x minus x is just x. And then I substitute my given value for x into the expression on each side of the inequality. So 6 times 3 greater than 3. 6 times 3 is 18 greater than 3. And then ask yourself, is 18 greater than 3? Yes, it is. So yes, x equals 3 is a solution to the inequality 2x plus 4x greater than 2x minus x. So again, when we're evaluating the expressions, remember we have an expression here, 2x plus 4x, an expression here, 2x minus x. Same way when we were evaluating a few weeks ago, we're given the value for the variable and we simply plug that value in, and then once we simplify each side, we then ask ourselves, is this true? 18 is greater than 3, so for this inequality, x equals 3 is a solution. Now going back to the equation, we have an equal sign. Once we simplify by plugging our variable in, we get 18 is not equal to 3. So if this is the equation we're looking at, then no, x equals 3 is not a solution for this equation. So you will find that depending on whether or not you have an equation or an inequality, the same values for x may work or not work because one is a sentence that says something is equal. The other is a sentence that says that something is greater than. I hope this review has been helpful.